Hey everybody, it's time for a look at one of my Mario Maker levels. Uh, today we'll be looking at Blast Radius. Um, some cool mechanics in here. Main idea is going to be that you're going to be using bombs to break through some walls. Uh, if you've ever played any of my Mario Maker levels, you probably have noticed that the challenge level is high. I like to keep them difficult. So let's look at some videos here. And here we go with Blast Radius. You're going to notice a uh, shell helmet. You're going to want to keep that as long as possible. So now, what I'm going to do is grab this bomb here, throw it out of the belt so that it can break through the wall. Um, as you see, the shell can kind of repel some bullets. Kind of a cool mechanic they threw in here for Mario Maker. So now here, you want to throw the bomb about halfway across this gap um, so that it blows up both blocks there. Uh, otherwise, there's going to be some other ways to get through. Um, there are some backup plans for some of these areas. That one is one of the cases. I'll show you those a little bit later. So there was a helmet up there. As you saw, if you lost it, you can grab it because you're going to need it to break through those bricks. I'm going to jump across the donuts. Uh, we're going to run across here and jump again. So here comes another bomb. I'm going to run jump on this. I'd get up on the block. Uh, seems to get it in the right place when he's lost it. And we move on. Uh, I usually wait for one of these balls to hit. Now, here we go. This is a mechanic I actually stumbled across by accident making the course, but it turned out being very helpful for the course. Just letting the bomb bounce off of your helmet and activating it that way, or jumping up to hit it, and it's in this case, throwing it onto the conveyor belt, and here we go. And here we are, a uh, boss fight with Bowser Jr. Kind of like how they throw him in here, kind of like the Koopa Kids in Mario 3. Um, now, you don't necessarily have to beat Bowser Jr. to move on here, but I would recommend doing it because uh, he's probably going to get in your way of timing your bomb throws if you don't. So, get the three hits in, and um, here we go. And I like to move over there to get the boss music playing again. It cuts off if you're on the other end of the airship. Not that that matters, but personally, I like it. So, get your three hits in here on Bowser Jr. Two down, one to go. Again, try to maintain the, the helmet if you can. It just makes your life much easier with these bombs. So what you can do is try and... Now, I butchered that, but you can kind of pop it up into the place. If not, you've got a second chance here with another bomb. I jump about halfway between the blocks and toss it. should fall in that little nook there and get you through. You see up there, there's another helmet if you're missing one. So feel free to grab it. Now we've got this part. You're going to want to make sure you're not going into the flames here and you can just bounce the bomb up off your helmet again and get through. Make sure you're far enough over on the belt so the bomb blast doesn't catch you. Now there's another way to do this too. You can just let the bomb fall and go into the flames and the flames will activate the bomb and there you go. Again, um, staying on the edge of the conveyor belt so avoid the blast and making sure you're not just being slid over into the flames. So pop one more bomb up over there and we're ready to move on. Get down here, break the block if you want, jump on it, whatever you want to do. I don't know why that block was there, but it is. Um, so here we go, we head into the sub-level. Now you're going to have to be pretty much flawless down here. Things can, uh, you, not many second chances, so pop that bomb up there. Uh, probably not the best placement, but it works. In this first area, as you see, yeah, there's a hidden block with another bomb if you screw up. So there is a little bit of forgiveness with that first chamber. Not the case with these next three chambers. If you get just the top one here, you can get through. You just got to kind of get a run going. And there you go. So here we go. Take the second bomb. Jump on them. Let it hit your helmet. Whatever. Toss them on the belt. Boom. Ready to move on. This guy, make sure you're ready to roll because you got to get up there pretty quick. Toss it, should get you through. Now, excuse my upcoming edit here. Um, I just like the way the first part of that walkthrough went, um, so I kind of spliced in a second uh, walkthrough here. I do have some full, clean playthrough videos, but I just like the way the first one had a few examples I wanted to show you, so here we go. And uh, here we are at the end. As you'll notice, the goal is blocked off by blocks. Um, so once again, the easiest way to do this is that jump up and just bounce the bomb up onto the blocks. Boom. And there you go. Course is clear. Uh, 
took me quite a few tries to get through this cleanly to upload it. Most of my courses are that way. Some of them uh, up to 40 attempts just to get the upload test ready and gone. So now I want to show you a couple of the second chance op options you have. If you do happen to screw up some of these areas, not all is lost on all of them. So here we go um, in this first area here. Let's say you pop the bomb out and uh, or you lose your shell, um, your shell helmet, or you just throw the bomb kind of there, only takes out the first block. Bunch of different things. Again, no helmet. You won't be able to break those blocks. Maybe the bomb worked, but you lost your helmet. What you can do is grab the shell here and uh, just jump up, toss it while you're jumping. Make sure, uh, you know, watch out for it on the way back down. But there you go. You can break, break through cleanly there. And you're good to go. So uh, a little bit of forgiveness there. Not really what I'm known for, but in that case, I did offer a second chance. So no problems there. So here we go, I want to just show you this. If you happen to mistime this jump and fall down here, um, I don't know, you know, might think you're screwed, but here we go. There's a hidden block here that'll let you get back up. Uh, so just another a little small area of forgiveness just mixed in, just in case. Um, right here, a uh, couple things, you know, again, there is, if you lost your helmet, um, a second chance here to grab another one so again with this level the way the bombs work that just popping it up with your helmet can be so much more clean than trying to time these bomb throws and making the bombs land in the right place so I definitely recommend grabbing the new helmets if you need one so what you can do is once these cannon shoots bounce off there and boom grab a new helmet and you're ready to roll again uh, another th thing I could show you right here um, using the same shell actually if you happen to botch this bomb spot here um, there's going to be a second chance that you can pull off so I'll just you know intentionally screw that up so what you can do uh, bounce up here again make sure you're holding the B button so that uh, you grab the shell and not put it on your head if you don't have a helmet you can just toss it there and let the shell do the work that the bomb would have done with the top blocks um, which are bricks so that is um, again some of the second chances built in like I said not every area is going to have a second chance so this course may require some practice and some uh, you know rage fits um, wanting to break your controller as my courses are prone to do uh, but you know, second chances where I could give them I'm not going to give them everywhere but I did mix a few in I uh, showed you this one earlier, uh, if you screw up the first bomb, there's a bomb there and a hidden block that you can grab to get through. So again, another case of uh, a little bit of forgiveness, not too much, because you're going to have to be perfect in the next three chambers anyway. So uh, one last, uh, you know, second chance I can show you here at the final place if you screw up. The, uh, bomb here at the goal uh, which I'll do intentionally again you can hop up on this turtle grab the shell and hit the brick brick in the middle and there you go you can clear the course that way um, so those are the second chances I mixed in uh, thanks for watching the video today if you play the course you like it uh, please please give me a star I really appreciate that and if you do like uh, challenging Mario courses feel free to follow my Mario Maker level uploads um, I promise you I won't disappoint in the challenge regard most of my levels are at like a 1% clear rate so thanks again and you know enjoy uh, go enjoy some of my weird YouTube videos if you want go enjoy my Mario Maker levels I'll have some more of these up um, coming up for my other levels. So thanks again for watching and I'm out.